Good morning. Let me read to you today from Psalm 131, verses 1 through 3. It says, Lord, my heart is not proud. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I have calmed and quieted myself like a weaned child who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord now and always. And then I also added this verse from Proverbs 17, verse 4. Wrongdoers listen to gossip. Liars pay close attention to slander. Ann and I will be traveling to Nashville later today. We'll be flying in for the Southern Baptist Convention. We'll be gathered with 5,000 other messengers from churches across the United States. In the next couple of days, these messengers will vote on a number of different motions and resolutions regarding moral issues in our culture, such as sexual abuse and the way that churches handle that, racial tensions and reconciliation, LGBTQ lifestyle, and the role of women in ministry. There will be intense scrutiny from the secular media on these gatherings. They will report in the Washington Post, through AP news outlets, and others. Since most of those in the media are not conservative, born-again believers in Jesus Christ, they will be painting the meetings with broad brushstrokes of intolerance and bigotry born out of their political progressivism. However, the great majority of those who will be gathered have the conviction that to love one another, we must speak truth. We cannot compromise God's word for political or cultural acceptance. That path consigns people to hell by their sinful choices because we don't confront those sinful choices and call them what they are an offense against a holy God that need to be forgiven and covered by the blood of Christ. I believe these verses are a timely reminder for all of us who call Christ Lord. Let us not listen to the gossip and slander of unbelievers, but let us put our hope in the Lord now and always. Now, I have a very specific prayer request that I'd like to share with you as Ann and I head off to the convention. There's been a recent accusation by a former executive in the Southern Baptist Convention about leaders not taking seriously the topics of racial reconciliation and sex abuse in our Southern Baptist churches in our convention. The convention as a whole, these messengers, years ago voted that these topics needed to be addressed. Now, whether these leaders have stonewalled and dragged their feet or not, I don't know. But I do know that we have to come to a resolution in this meeting. We have to have a path forward. We have to know that these topics, these things which are sin, that they're going to be addressed. They'll be handled effectively by our convention leadership. So be praying this week. Be praying that together, as a group of Southern Baptists led by the Holy Spirit, that we will be unified in heart and mind in confronting these things which God has called sin and being able to choose a path forward in how we will address them. Pray with me. Father, thank you for our time this morning in your word. And I ask, Lord, that you would bless us as you lead us by your Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, God bless you. We'll see you later.